live. No, seriously, live from Austin, where it all looks the same, but somehow different. You know it's going to be a great night. Now, please direct your attention to the stage, because here are your hosts, Brian Brushwood and Justin Robert Young. Who likes doing a show for uh, half the uh, audience uh, not uh, knowing uh, about uh, the show? Uh, uh, Who uh, likes uh, an eclectic uh, mix of YouTube fans? Getting their fix, I would like to stop rhyming. Why Save not? Save me, Justin, please. No. Fuck <laughs> you, Justin. You're doing a bit where I have to keep on going or I'll throw a fit. But I would like to stop all this rapping, please. So please let the bit big cottage cheese. No. <laughs> Pitying applause. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah. Uh, no, I, 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 uh, we, we, we are live at Captain Quacks here in Austin, Texas. Yeah. Woo! We're having a good time. You, you, We're you, you outside gotta, people you have, now. You have, you have to pause to let them in. Okay, all right. These people, I don't know. You guys having a good time tonight? Yeah. There it is. They don't need a lot. They just need to be drop fed just a little bit. Every once in a while. They're already having a blast. They I just mean, need to be parceled out. You you do know that we literally built a mock version of this exact set and have practiced for how many episodes now? 104, 105? For this exact moment. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> how are we doing? <laughs> right now, I think we're doing pretty good. I don't know. What do y'all think? Yeah. All right. There it is. Uh, yeah, man. Uh, this has been a dream of ours for a really long time. We literally built a simulation set of- Can we talk about the real issue? What's happening at your property? And I'm not going to say it's the reason why we're not doing a live show there, but it can't be discounted that there is a persistent security problem in your fucking property. Okay, look, uh, one one intruder yeah. with a very particular uh, set of skills and fetish. <laughs> uh, Actually, we don't know how he does it. Uh, we we, have, we don't. We have been home invaded uh, thrice, foldishly. How many people regularly listen to our podcast? Uh, and okay, make make, make noise. Fet you want to know what? That's good. I'm glad that there are normal people here too. Uh, <laughs> but like uh, uh, people who have heard the show, then you will know. So we'll, we will recap. Uh, there was a period of time over the last week and a half where we would go to the bathroom in your property. And what would be there? Uh, I can't attest to what you experienced. All I know is I got the mad text saying, there's a goddamn frog in your shitter. Yeah. <laughs> and indeed there was a goddamn frog yep. in my shitter. Yeah. Uh, we didn't know what to do. We, I reached for it. The frog dove in to yep. the toilet bowl and swam away. And that was it. To punctuate, I just pressed flush. <laughs> and we thought that was the end, end of, of it. the story. This one frog. That loved piss <laughs> was gone from our lives. He did love piss. <laughs> I, mean, he, I mean, but he loved piss. He so loved piss. Put one in the sky. <laughs> Everybody in the crowd. But one in the sky for how much this frog loved only, piss. Only one finger. Don't give him the number two. <laughs> Just one. And by the way, about a quarter of the crowd did it. <laughs> but I'll bet you more will do it when we tell you that he came back. <laughs> The second time, yeah. it was in the studio bathroom, and this time I had to take a leak, so I pull up the, you know, whatever the flat top layer is called, and then I pull up the, the sitting seat, and then, goddamn frog is in there! Different toilet! Yep. After he got away, and we press flush. Same thirst for piss. <laughs> <laughs> this he was time, just waiting. He wants farm-to-table piss. <laughs> Straight Organic from the source. Organic piss. This time, he was a little bit more languid, a little bit more fatigued. Yeah. Because I, I, he had been full. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so, not going to tell you on what. I wrapped... I wrapped uh, but everybody put one in the sky. Yeah. <laughs> one in the sky. Piss frog. There piss frog. Number one in our hearts. By the way, 40% now. Okay. We started at 25. <laughs> we're now at 40. We're going to get you all. 
wrapped, gonna... wrapped the toilet paper around my hand. I reached over and grabbed him. I, I thought he might have been dead because he was so just... Rela- like, yeah. Just, and, and, so I went and I walked out to the pond and I was like, oh, this pond is empty. There's no water in it. And so I, I turned on the water and then I was like, Godspeed, my frog. Mm-hmm. And, and as I... Threw him into the pond. Little leg jauntily went off to the side, yeah. and I was like, "Still got it, piss frog." Yep. Off he went. End of story. Never to be seen again. Until fade down. Until until yesterday. Oh. At which point I get a te- uh, I I I don't even get a text. No I no, get- no no no. We are done with Weird the things. bones on Thursday. Yes. Bones. Yeah. Yeah. And I am. Going to the bathroom after I've edited and posted the bones. And I go to the same bathroom that I first saw this beautiful creature. (laughs) And I open the lid because, and I know that for many of us, we're meeting for the first time. So I apologize (laughs) for being indelicate. (laughs) But I was not going to satiate this frog's need. (laughs) I I was not, I was not. Yeah, I, I was not going number one. I was going number two, and I knew that there was a history of these kind of interlopers. So I opened up the toilet, and who did I see staring back at me? That goddamn piss frog was back again. Somehow had figured out how to get back into the septic system, crawled up, and was waiting just to... Boy, how glad are you that you didn't just sit down and send you feel just the strangest tickle? Oh, my God. <laughs> The fear of that even walking into the bathroom is the reason why I checked. Because I did not want to get a tickle upon my bum by this frog saying, wrong side. (laughs) You get heckled by a frog who's like, I said I love piss. So I go screaming out of the bathroom and Brian and Bryce are in the office that is right next to the bathroom that I was in. And I just go, he's back, he's back. And everyone goes running in and indeed, Piss Frog returned for his Return of the Jedi uh, 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 three three men on a match moment. And because we're geniuses who can learn no lessons, what did we do? We grabbed him and threw him in the pond. <laughs> <laughs> Which Shouts I, out for Piss Frog. I want to see all everybody. the ones. Uh, for those of you unfamiliar with this program, we usually start off with a little personal stories. Um, yeah. I, I so ha- now we're going to get personal. <laughs> <laughs> I know we were just doing a lot of regular <laughs> pop culture stuff at the beginning. A lot of stuff you'd hear in junior high exactly. from a teacher. Yeah, this is a lot of Public Jay Leno assemblies. shit. But like, yeah. you know, now we're actually going to get personal about our lives. Everything in me just wants to explore a Jay Leno monologue in which he's talking about piss frog. <laughs> you seen this? You heard about this? <laughs> I was taking a shit. It doesn't matter. Uh, but uh, uh, I know I was about to do it. You ready? Go ahead. Can I get like a little fan? I mean, because like Jay Leno needs a little fan. If only we had an announcer. Go ahead. Give yeah. us a fake intro. Here we go. That's not how Jay Leno's <laughs> show went. And here he is, Jay Leno! Hey! <laughs> everybody, somebody just... Everybody, uh, See about this? You about this? <laughs> band leader, do you about uh, this? Uh, I forget who the band leader was. Ho, 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 ho. Good job, Johnny Carson. <laughs> I'm, I'm Santa Claus. <laughs> It appears that the uh, timelines are collapsing. Uh, <laughs> do you about this piss frog? <laughs> you know, apparently uh, Bill Clinton uh, <laughs> loves his piss frog. He sits in the toilet <laughs> and he drinks piss. Yep. <laughs> I like weed. I'm the band leader. I just remembered that part. <laughs> <laughs> the biggest part about it is how much I want to bail out of this impression. (laughs) (laughs) Is this kind of like you're freestyling on stage and your partner doesn't let you stop? What must that be like? (laughs) Maybe. (laughs) I'll let you off the hook. Thank you. You're a better man than me. In two minutes.
<laughs> anyway. No. No, you don't no, get to do kill that. It. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. Uh, uh, anyway, piss frog. Uh, okay, so um, today I was uh, p- uh, pulling out from our favorite uh, uh, sports bar, yeah. and I found myself behind... Uh, the exact same minivan we've all been stuck behind, right? We've all been there. Uh, the white minivan, probably a Honda or a Toyota mm-hmm. or some shit. Definitely probably one of them. It's the most minivan shit ever. Minivan uh, of minivans. Uh, you can already picture on the back display of the white minivan that you're stuck behind a vinyl uh, laser cut sticker. Mm-hmm. Uh, you probably, uh, 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 real quick, uh, uh, one person shout out, uh, one person, like you could just, uh, uh, what are some of the stickers that you've seen on the back of a minivan? What's it? Baby on board. Uh, baby, baby on board. On board. Uh, picture family. of the family. The family, That's yeah. That's a good one. What else? Yeah. Piss frog. I heard a piss frog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> but, but one up in the sky. Uh, uh, dance cheerleading. Uh, yep. uh, 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 my honor, honor student. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. The mom. Something, something, mom. Texas X's. Texas X's. Yep, 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 there you go. Yep. Oh, that's a good one. A machine gun. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, so so uh, what what catches my eye is that it's the smallest of those vinyl labels I've ever seen. And it's definitely something written. And I, you know, I remember kind of lean forward. I squint. And very small, like one quarter the size of anything I've ever seen in vinyl lettering in white on the back of a white minivan is... In quotes, a quotation. Yeah, unattributed. It just know says, thyself." It says, "Quote: I'll never drive a minivan." <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I thought that shit was fucking dope. <laughs> Wait, whoa, 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 whoa! You're in we it. We need to spend more time on this because it would have probably been less letters to just say existential crisis. <laughs> yeah, but that but that's funny, though. I'll never drive a minivan, <laughs> quote, unquote. And it's in it's a definitely... font that is sad, stark, and terrifying. <laughs> in the way that, in fact, it might be the Nine Inch Nails yes. font that I'll never drive a minivan, which adds pathos to this that I was not even... <laughs> initially thinking about uh uh so what goes through one's mind before they put that on their minivan uh well i know what went is it a cry mind. for help it was 20 years of my wife saying i will never drive a minivan and now she <laughs> until well, i crashed it because <laughs> like have you ever put a bumper sticker on your car I did. You know what? I did bigger. Yeah, I did. I, I, no, I put no, no. a you giant put, you logo. Put a, yeah, a, 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 a spare tire cover. A spare tire that cover. That says Jeep. But that, that, Just in case anyone no, no, didn't no. know it was a Jeep. No, no, no. But that, that is something that is different. Like, that takes more effort. Like, that is something for which you had to get customly done. And, in fact, I think that was a gift, right? Yes. Uh, also, I, I think you're, you're keying in on what I adored about it is that it wasn't shouting. It was, it was quietly whispered. <laughs> Younger me said, I'll never drop it. Yeah. It was an admission of defeat. It was well, my favorite thing. What is the closest you've ever gotten to putting a a, a bumper or a, a, any kind of sticker on your car? It might be. Have you ever done it? I'm, I've done it once. It might be the decal that took over the whole fucking back screen of our minivan that was a portrait of our family. <laughs> but that doesn't count. What the... Like, both of the things that you're doing, like, yes, you're describing the fact that you are a great artist and you love your family and you are reflecting yourself in a way that is effectively an art installation and not somebody that says, who farted? (laughs) That's what I'm asking. I'm asking as close as you've come to putting a, like, uh, uh, no more shave that bush, like, oh, four, like, or, like, 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 and, and... like I, I'm talking right. about, I'm right, talking about right, some right. like 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 dumb shit that you would put on the back of your car. Uh, no, I, I have You've I, never. I, I, the closest we got was um, when we were on tour with uh, Brooks and Dunn, Roscoe Flats, and Brad Paisley. Uh, there Humble were there, there were 13 buses, and the previous generation called. Uh, they they always called it the clown bus, and they had gotten in the habit of saying that. And me and the hypnotist and and the uh, acrobats, we all didn't really enjoy being called clowns. Yeah. So. 
in a small as, as, town. As one would understand. Yeah. So uh, uh, we could have been the acrobat bus. We we went. Could have uh, been the hypnotist bus. That's 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 why we spent fifty bucks for a little uh, decal that said uh, "Bus 13, Daredevils." Nice. Is that because you were blind? <laughs> no, it was because we were very good at law. Speaking of which, <laughs> <laughs> I, I will tell you, there's only one time that I've put a anything on my car. And it was back when I was uh, probably around 17 or 18, but I had had a car for a couple years. And uh, because I had just understood what opinions were, uh, <laughs> I decided to put a... Uh, a I forget what they were called. It was the opposite of a Jesus fish. It was like a Jesus fish with little feet oh. on it. The Darwin, the Darwin fish, fish, right? So, so I put that so on you were my... that guy. Well, I was, <laughs> I was 17. Uh, uh, yes. You were, you were that kid. I was 17-year-old, that guy. Uh, and I went out to go to school one morning, and it had been ripped off my car. And so I... By the way, just was a thing that I was doing. I wasn't like, yeah, that'll fucking show them. I'm going to put it on my car. It was just, I don't know, a thing I thought was funny and cool, and and I, I put so it on you, there. you were not under the illusion that somebody was going to stop behind you at a stoplight and say, and then my world changed. <laughs> I mean, for reference, I grew up in South Florida. Oh. Not exactly a place that God frequents. Unless he's looking for coke. Apparently, <laughs> people putting one up in the sky. Uh, uh, so I did not realize it wasn't exactly like I was going through West Texas with a like Darwin fish thing. I didn't realize that it was going to be something controversial in the suburbs of Fort Lauderdale. So I bought another one, and I put it on because now. It is a challenge. It is a, a direct challenge. If there's one thing I know that I can tap into the Brian Brushwood aesthetic, it is somebody telling you you cannot have a thing on your car. Sure. Regardless of whether or not you think it's a big deal that, that is there. How'd it go this time? It got ripped off. <laughs> and then I gave up. Uh, no. I was about to say, the only thing that would be dumber is to keep throwing the same frog into the same pond <laughs> and be <being> surprised. <laughs> One. Shouts out, Piss Frog! Piss Frog! Uh, uh, and with that, we should bring up our special guest. Ladies and gentlemen, you know him from his podcast, The, Bo the Political Orphanage, and that is Dog Wears a Tie. Yep. We give a big round of applause for Andrew Heaton! Hey! <laughs> See, oh, Lee. he's doing it right. He's he, Well, except for he's not shaking hands. Okay, he is shaking hands. Oh. Andrew Heaton is now making his <laughs> way through... Oh, 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 oh. The entire I'm Santa. Audience. I'm so thankful. He is hugging people. I love weed. I'm oh, so God. thankful. He's jumping up I'm and down gay. with them. I'll play jazz. He is now apparently playing the song again. Here we go. <laughs> get okay. his drink. All right. Oh, wait, no. He had to go back and get a drink. He's now <laughs> he taking a break. And there we go. He's Welcome. Alive. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Hello. So how was your day? It was good. It was good. <laughs> it was good. You're yeah. out of breath, aren't you? I'm a little. I, I'm, I'm a little disturbed by the fact that getting excited while walking to a stage makes me out of breath. Yeah. Uh, but yes, I'm a little out of breath. Had a good day. Yeah. yeah. So uh, say fifty words. <laughs> uh, like, now we're teaming up against. Good evening. In less than an hour, you will join. Other pilots from around the world in the largest aerial <laughs> battle in the history of mankind. Mankind. I don't remember all of the Gettysburg Address, but it's a wonderful speech. Hey, uh, by the way, how's it feel to be a cheater and a fraud who won the trivia contest? Uh, did I win the... I didn't win the trivia contest. Yes. That was... You, you were mistaking the widespread populist upswell for Wallace as, <laughs> as an indication that I won. We were not uh, not in front of Wallace. What was the name of it? Not that's not me. Oh, Look, yeah, that's I'm right. fucking up here. Alex. That guy's a whole so, different yeah, guy. Uh, uh, for, for only listeners to the podcast, they will not have gotten the the trivia that happened live here at our at our live show. So, uh, did you come close, Bryce? Did he come close? Did we know? What, what, were your, what was your team again? Wally Squad. Wally Squad. Wally Squad. Let's see. I think you did okay. 
But I got too cocky and I put down Catherine the first instead of just Catherine. That's right. <laughs> and guess what? <laughs> you had eight and, points. And then, this Icarus looking motherfucker. <laughs> and, and, then, and then, by the way, got admonished from the stage uh-huh. Uh-huh. by yep. a Bryce who knows that the sun's getting real low on June. <laughs> He's Listen. gotta. He's got. He's, he's got to exercise his powers while they still. They, I got three, still more three more hours. I got three more hours, and then I go back to being a normie. So <laughs> I am. Uh, I'm making my most of it. Was was it Hawkman? Birdman. Birdman. Who was powered by the sun? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay. yeah. 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 Well, I'm yeah. glad we settled that. Good. <laughs> uh, I'm like good. a gay Birdman. I am powered by the <laughs> sunny month. Uh, do we do we want to say Bryce the gay birdman? <laughs> that should be something you put on business cards. <laughs> <laughs> or no, I'll tell you what, you should get a bumper sticker that just says me the gay birdman. <laughs> and underneath in a different font, cock of the walk. Yeah. And then an even smaller font, only in June. <laughs> It's a lot of subtitles, but powered like. by the June. <laughs> uh, Heaton, I don't know. I, I can talk about bumper stickers and shit. You want me to do that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please okay. go ahead. All right, I, I don't have a bumper sticker. I've, I've been thinking one bumper sticker. Yeah, maybe I agree with you. Maybe I don't. Sure. Two bumper stickers, suspicious. Mm-hmm. Three bumper stickers, I do not fucking want to talk to you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Even if I 100% agree with you, I do not want to talk to anybody with three political bumper stickers under any circumstance. I, I have uh, a friend of ours uh, once told me that bumper stickers should be looked at as a one-to-one for tattoos. Oh, in terms wow. Of there's car tattoos. Yeah. yeah. And that uh, uh, if you've got one, maybe it means something to you in the same way that somebody like might have a tattoo. Maybe it's prominent, maybe it's not, but it's certainly something that at least one point in their life was very important. To, you know, maybe they've lived an interesting life, right? Like, like maybe it's something that really, really matters. Three and up, you're dealing with somebody who's got a lot of opinions and really, really, really wants you to know about them. Exactly. Exactly. A- anything beyond five, you might as well be post Malone when it comes to face <laughs> tattoos. Like, you are actively trying to get a conversation going. The, the, the third tattoo is the gateway tattoo. The, the, excuse me, the third, the third bumper sticker is the gateway bumper sticker. The yeah. fifth bumper sticker is the neck tattoo. Yes. Yes, that's where we are. The seventh bumper sticker is the so, eyelid. So you, 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 you had a very funny line. You had a very funny line that God does not often come to South Florida. Yes. Uh, I, I am from Oklahoma, which is the holster of the Bible belt, and he never leaves. And Also, still looking for cocaine. <laughs> it, I, like, uh, I, I, I go to Wagner, Oklahoma. Does anybody else holiday in Wagner? <laughs> Any Wagner? Is it just, is it no, just no, no, me? No, 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 it's fine. We can the wait. The Kenny Bunkport of Oklahoma. <laughs> yeah. The Kenny Bunkport of Oklahoma. I holiday over there, and there's. Huh? What? No, I said the Kenny Bunkport of Oklahoma. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, Wagner. I'm sorry. Yes, Wagner. Um, when you drive in, there are these, these multiple, really big uh, billboards that you see, and the first one says. Uh, pray for Betty. Betty. Why not? I, and you're like, great. And then the Betty next Boop. one says, evolution is a lie. And that's just a huge bill. Somebody spent money. Uh-huh. Yeah. Evolution's a lie. And then the third one is like the wacky tobacco barn on 4th Street. <laughs> and it's this The weird, weed dispensary. It's the weed. The, the weed It's the weed is so, it's it's amazing. Like I um. You said it was 4th Street? It's on 4th <laughs> It's wherever you want. It's wherever you Good, want. Because, by the way, he... He, he summers in Wagner. Yeah, it's no because o- Oklahoma. It's it's the Canada of Texas, right? And <laughs> and wow. it, it is legalized marijuana. So like, I was living there for part of the pandemic, and I I was I was hanging out there, and my my neighbor came over, Mr. McKinney, really sweet dude. He's like, he's a farmer. He's from Eastern Oklahoma. He's probably in his sixties, and he's like, Andy, you're a podcaster, and I was like, yeah, and he's like, I got good internet. If you have a problem, you come over. You use my internet. We also, you know how there's supply chain issues. We got lots of toilet paper. I leave the back door open. You just go in there. We got firewood. You help yourself to firewood. Whatever you want. Do you like marijuana? <laughs> wow. And I was like, I'm, I'm not really a marijuana guy. And he's like, well, I'm a grower. So you let me know. <laughs> wow. So anyway, he's dealing in the parking lot. Uh, yeah, if anybody yeah. wants any, he takes Venmo. Yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, 
What game are we playing today? Uh, we are playing what, Bryce? Well, we are... Ju- did we come up with a name for this? We're reading Am I the Asshole? Hey! We're going to judge people based on uh, the stories that they told us. on Well, told Reddit, and then they we told stole Reddit. Them. And then we are going to do it. But we're going to do this in a very, very special way, and we're going to need I'll be right back. each and every one of you to uh, please help us out, because... Normally, on a podcast, they would read an Am I the Asshole? In fact, let, let me ask this. How many of y'all know the Reddit or the, the subreddit Am I the Asshole? A lot of people. Yeah, no, yeah. no, no. You have to applaud. You can't raise your hand. That's This is an audio podcast. Oh, yeah. I think that's uh, 500 people, 600 people. Yep. Yeah, yeah, pretty yeah. much. Yeah, yeah. We, we got most of the lower bowl. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mezzanine, we'll get them next time. Uh, so what we're going to do is is read them. And normally on a podcast, we would just talk about them. Yeah. But you want to know what? This is the first time that we are at the soundstage at Captain Quack's, which is yeah. an amazing venue. Let's get a big round of applause. So I feel like we need to do something special, which is why we have recruited Andrew Heaton, the son of a judge, mm-hmm. an actual judge. You are going to judge each case and in our system in america i can inherit that judgeship and i will i will i will be judging that i uh, i was briefed on this earlier this afternoon i have brought a gavel uh and a blazer so hold on i'm gonna grab oh wow so heaton is gonna go down there but that means that brian a legal blazer you and i need to just trying to be, be respectful for the, the court I, i'm putting on it. proper attire brian he looks like wallace when he yeah. when he ran off he got a tie that he is now wearing over his T-shirt. Okay, I'm not. I'm not going to say that I intend to crush you in the courtroom, but uh, I will say, uh, my goodness, it's awfully hot in here. Oh God damn it! <laughs> He's got a pocket I mean, square. I, I am but a simple country magician. No, I don't really see things with your complex Florida lifestyle. So, because last time I checked, God does summer in Galveston, Texas. Oh fuck you. <laughs> I'm still here holding a Lone Star wearing a yoked out David Comey t shirt <laughs> and a gold chain. Your honor, objection pandering to the jury. Sustain, sustain. All right, all right. All right. Uh, so here's what's going to happen uh, uh, we will have our, our table here read the cases, yep. and then uh, Brian and I will decide which side we want to defend, and then Heaton will be. <laughs> The uh, I'm, I'm the, aware the, that the I look like I'm, I'm selling rental property in Miami. No, at this you fucking. Time, but I looked. I didn't over, have a smock. I I, I I I didn't see what he was dressed as. I looked over and I saw the Music Man. So <laughs> <laughs> we got. If trouble. anyone's gonna get sold fucked also, up trumpets, why, why know that it's this guy. Why aren't judges putting their gavels in their pants like me? This it, is it, really it easy. Like, it's like I got a gavel holster. Holster. Well, You are you are you, you do look like it was like a quick draw holster. Yeah. In fact, you want to know? Bam, sustained. You 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 take Brian's mic so you can bang there on the uh, uh, on the okay. table and we, we'll All slide right. down there. I, I, I'm, yeah. I'm selling that real estate for one Lone Star if anyone wants to grab one. Mm. Uh, all right, uh, Bryce and Brett, let's <laughs> yeah. read our first case. Uh, mm-hmm. As we read this, the beginning of each one of these is "Am I the asshole?" So if you could help me, please. Am, Am I, I the, the asshole? asshole for accidentally killing my roommate's fish? Ooh. Oh. I am 32-year-old female. My roommate, 28-year-old female, has a saltwater fish tank in our living room. I'll call her Stacy. <laughs> uh, the roommate, not the fish tank. <laughs> Stacy and her boyfriend were going camping for Memorial Day weekend and asked me to feed her fish. I said, sure, no problem. After they left, I noticed some green slash yellow stuff forming on the sides of the fish tank, so I grabbed one of the new white sponges that we use for most of the cleaning and wiped down the outside and the inside of the tank. Uh, Apparently, one of her fish had died, uh, and she immediately blamed me and yelled at me. Uh, She asked me to show her the sponge I used, and when I did, she told me it was a Mr. Clean Magic Eraser and that there are chemicals in those sponges. I don't think I'm the asshole, but my partner thinks I should at least pay for some of the damages. Am I the asshole? Uh, Brian, which side would you like to argue? I would like to prosecute. (laughs) That they are the asshole. Oh, yes. I will defend. You go ahead. You're on. (laughs) 
As we all know, not all of us can be masters of all domains at all the same times, and some of us make a mistake. For example, if I was to blink and run over someone on the street, would that be murder? No. That's right, Judge. I like this <laughs> style. No, you can say shit, Judge. You Objection. Just He's there. interrupting. He's interrupting. Sustained. <laughs> It's not your fault to make a mistake, but it is your fault when you knowingly defy someone's request. Hmm. Her roommate asked for one thing. Do you remember what that was, Judge? My members of the jury, do you remember what it was? She asked her roommate to feed her fish. And this woman, this vixen, this tramp, vixen. Whoa. Whoa. she... She did not walk over to the fridge. She did not heat up any fish sticks. She went to nary a Long John Silver's, and she did not even attempt to feed this woman fish. Guilty by technicality. Wow. That okay. That you know what? I'm I am processing that. I am <laughs> registering that. Uh, I thank you, and I want you to know that I heard you. But I do. I do technically have to hear the defense. So uh, let's go ahead and, you know, listen to that shit. All right, defense, what do you got? How many pet owners do we have in the audience? I'm sure Objection, you all... they're called companions. Sustained. <laughs> Wait, no, overruled. Pets is fine. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Thank you, Your Honor. You're welcome. Oh. I know that you all care about your pets. I know that you care about your cats, your dogs, your fish, and your birds. I know that you guys are connected to them. And I know that this is a tragedy, much in the way that so many things in our life, unfortunately, go awry. This is nothing more than a simple act of God. So in a normal court of law, the bailiff comes to get the beer <laughs> from the prosecutor. But this being a moot court, we don't have a bailiff to get the beer. Brian was running around as if, in a manner, he was hunched over like he had one of those metal detectors on the beach. My, my favorite part of that is for that spare change. His, his body language indicated he thought if he ducked low enough, no one would see him. <laughs> On the middle of the stage, but four also, feet above the but rest also, of the audience. if he moved fast enough, we yeah. wouldn't be able to right. keep our eyes. <laughs> oh Lord, <laughs> it's very hot in here. <laughs> I know that you all care because you raised your hand, and this was indeed a tragedy. This was an act of God, a mistake made by an innocent person who wanted nothing but to benefit the life of that fish. Did she grab the wrong sponge? Yes. An innocent mistake for somebody that didn't know there was an existence of another sponge. What the initial point, the point for which my counterpart believes is a guilty moment in this woman's life was only to clean the fishes or clean the fish's tank so it would live a healthier and clearer life. And lo, for that, she is punished. Punished by her roommate. Punished by this shithead. <laughs> and hopefully not punished by you, the jury. One act of kindness left with nothing but hell. She is not the asshole, and I would implore you to agree. That was some powerful testimony from the defense. Thank you. I don't know what to think now. I'm very glad that I don't have to. Uh, this being a jury system, I believe that they will make the decision, and then I'll make sentencing based on my blood sugar levels. <laughs> Uh, uh, if it please the court, can somebody also get me a Lone Star? Oh, my God. Your Honor, objection. Uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> what is your objection? I don't know. Just in general. 
Uh, ruled he, so forth. Yes, yeah. you're uh, uh, he's, he, yeah. he's sustained. Just, he's just testing it to see if it works. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I just was testing the Wait, buzzer. Wait, so, so while, while the jury deliberates here, uh, here, here's what I'd like. I would like... Um, uh, a rebuttal from both of you to the other one's points. Final statement. Final Your statement. Honor, uh, uh, but I would like it in an accent you've not previously used. Unshield. Yeah, I first day I am from Norway, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking nailed it. Am I in Malmus right now? Uh, I, too, want to judge this man for saying people own pets and that they live in not aquariums, but cages. <laughs> but anyway, I got a lone star. Is, is it just a, <laughs> what? Sorry, we is, were doing is, is Brian like 80% cuter as a Norwegian? Yes. I was going to say... Why, why did you pick the southern one? You should just go with the Norwegian one. You didn't even say anything coherent. Nothing oh, yeah. coherent was said, and I want to rule no. in your favor. Oh. Uh, 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 you want to know what? The defense for withdraws its case. That was too adorable. <laughs> right. Everybody give a round of applause. Hey! hey. It hey, doesn't even everybody go to a jury. Everybody put up one finger for Piss Frog. <laughs> That's one. All right. We're uh, officially ruling... Uh, guilty. Death penalty for the bitch. You're no, the asshole. No. All right, good. Woo. Damn, I regret that I was swayed by how cute your accent was. Yep. <laughs> a woman is going to be executed. Am I right, ladies? <laughs> it's, a, it's a classic mistake among lawyers to find themselves agreeing with the other side in yeah. the middle of a trial. Yeah. Yeah. All right, next case. This is case number nine. Everyone, am, am I, I the, the asshole? asshole for asking someone to silence their phone at a restaurant? Ooh. I'm sitting at a calm slash quiet cafe, so this is not a Starbucks in Manhattan. <laughs> <laughs> Am Reddit I right? is the best written website on the fucking web. <laughs> and the woman at the table next to me has her cell phone out, face up on the table. Every two to three minutes, she gets a text alert, and her phone chimes in an incredibly loud, high-pitched ring slash alert. She does not seem phased by this at all and does not, appe- does not appear to be waiting for uh, an important call or text. In fact, she doesn't even look down each time the phone makes the noise. Am I the asshole if I politely ask her to turn down the ringer volume or silence her phone altogether? I would like to take the defense. Go ahead. Listen, we all are, we all lose ourselves here and again. Maybe your phone is making noise and you don't realize it. Mm. Maybe, maybe you're drinking a scotch and for some reason you drop a baseball sized ice cube onto the stage, <laughs> ignore it, finish your scotch, set it down, and then casually, without listening to the story at all, <laughs> Lean over and pick up a baseball-sized piece of ice cube. So, so I'm just saying, yeah. we all make mistakes. Uh-huh. <laughs> and I think the defendant is not guilty. For the listeners at home, true believers, all this happened with Andrew Eaton while the question was being read. It's Excelsior! <laughs> I, I have... Okay, maybe I tried to fish a Mariano cherry out of my glass using the gavel. Maybe I ended up dropping the ice on the ground to get... All right, what is uh, it I've, called? I've, 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 anyway, the point is I'm paying Excuse attention me. to this yeah, baseball yeah. story. It's very important. Uh, uh, yeah, Your Honor, uh, can judge. you approach the bench? <laughs> The what, fuck, what the fuck are you doing? I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I've been under a lot of stress recently. Uh, no, 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 no. I, I think I think it's fine. I, I'm ready to. I'm okay, ready yes, to go. okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't know what they're saying. Mercury's in retrograde, so. <laughs> uh, Your Honor, yes. Victims, <laughs> true victims in our society, they are immediately understood. Those that are crushed by a totalitarian regime, those that are put upon by a system that they never agreed to, those that accidentally drop their gigantic ice cube onto the floor. These are the people that we need to look out for. And in that vein, I 
bring to you my client. My client that is trying to get work done at a cafe when a, I'll say it, terrorist (laughs) has their phone blaring as if it were a siren in the middle of the night while her concentration is broken so is the fabric of our very society I say that she is indeed not the asshole wow the defense rests uh, <laughs> because the prosecution just said she is not the asshole. <laughs> can can uh, uh, exhibit A is the realization? Well, excuse on me, Justin's I'm sorry. Face. You mostly, you, you mostly just the, the question I, was: <laughs> Am I the asshole for asking someone to silence their phone at a restaurant? Yeah. And I, you mostly just made fun of him for dropping his ice on the ground. So how the fuck am I supposed to know? We agree Can on I, one thing, hold on, and mate, that it's not guilty. Will, 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 will the defense please approach the bench? Oh, the defense, okay, please. Okay, okay. But right. which one's the defense? You know, it's a crapshoot. So I, I, I completely zoned out no, during no, 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 no. the no, I, during I, the I, beginning, I got you, I got you. and then and then I was thinking I was kind of okay. I was kind of worried that people were going to realize what was happening. But then uh, there was something about like baseball terrorists, and then but he said. Uh, not guilty, yeah. and you're saying not guilty, right. so I feel like there's no wrong for me here. If you're both saying not guilty, I should fucking rule not guilty, yeah. right? What you should do is you sh- should subvert expectations, declare Justin the winner despite his awful performance, and owe me one. Okay, all right, that sounds good. <laughs> yep. What? All right. Uh, this is quid pro quo. I cannot what? wait for the Reddit thread on this episode. <laughs> the court. I cannot wait. Am I the asshole for doing a bit on stick? <laughs> the okay, the court rules not guilty and awards two electoral votes to the plaintiff. Hey! hey! And corporal punishment to the defense. Don't worry. <laughs> it's not really a it's not gonna be not bad, just two strokes. Okay. Wow. That's what he said. <laughs> ne- uh, ne- next up on the doctor. Our next case. Next case is case number three. Am, Am I, I the asshole? asshole for having a drink on the way to a funeral? <laughs> <laughs> My wife's co worker passed away, and the memorial service was being held at a large Catholic church. When we got there, we went into the wrong door and went into an area where a wedding reception was being held. <laughs> I noticed that they had a cash bar with a sign saying all tips went to the honeymoon fund. <laughs> so I bought a beer, threw, a, threw in a $20 tip, chugged it, and went back out and found the right place for the memorial service. Uh, Your, Your Honor, may I request a brief sidebar? No, <laughs> yeah, let, yeah, yeah. Uh, let him finish. Let him finish. Okay. Uh, I was wearing a suit, so I fit in at the reception. I paid for my drink. I tipped, and I immediately left to go to the right place. This was last Saturday, and my wife is still pissed at me. She said I was disrespectful and an asshole for invading a wedding. I did not. The bar was outside of the reception hall. She says I shouldn't have drank before the funeral, but it was one beer. I think she's blowing this out of the out of proportion. Am I the asshole? Yeah, Your Honor. <laughs> this r- is this is like the worst place <laughs> to have this case aired. Go ahead. Your you Honor, choose. Your you Honor, choose. May, may I re- request a sidebar? Uh, yes. It, may yeah, we, yeah. Uh, okay. Si- no, you. Uh, the si- okay. I, I, All right oh, then. Okay. They really want to have an actual sidebar off of the. Mi- yeah, they're going to leave the microphone quiet, quiet, quiet. up there. So. This is off the record. I like to think that they're talking about ducks. It, always. Well, but if mallards. It's, but if it's heat and it's horses too. A horse duck. And we're doing Reddit? So. The ducks and the horse yeah. stuff? Yeah. yeah. We need some pirates and ninjas? We got the whole internet here. Uh, that's right. Just so everybody knows, the, the council wanted to update me on his JFK assassination theory. <laughs> it, it really had nothing to do with yeah. this. And it, he made some good points, actually. Look at the, the pixels. The deep state Look stuff. at the pixels. Yeah. Anyway, uh, so who's going to swing for this one? Uh, I, I, I would like to say that uh, this person is the asshole. 
All right. Well, I'm going to call you the plaintiff. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad we've become clear on this terminology. <laughs> yep. Because yep. apparently it was necessary. This happens every well, single time we do a law-themed law episode. <laughs> every single time they get confused about who's prosecuting and who's defending, and I will never, ever work to change it. This will always happen forever. All right, counsel, why is this person the asshole for having a little fun with drinky poo before a funeral? Life. Death. There is no greater bookends in our own comprehension. And yet, when we memorialize it, there has to be a solemnity, a seriousness. Or else, we have no room to grow. <laughs> if you are not going to make sure that you are on the same page with somebody else that you are going to a funeral with, all right? That you are going to a serious event with, that you are at least on the same wavelength, then you are indeed the asshole. If you violate what they believe is the, de the decorum for that event, then you are the asshole. Just realized I've turned this into a Jeff Foxworthy bit. <laughs> But whether or not this person describes their own actions as just a little slip out, just going to a place for which they spent 20 bucks, and of course they overtipped, it ignores the fact that somebody else that they went with, their wife no less, thought that it was inappropriate, which means indeed they are the asshole. Uh, thank you. Uh, court stenographer, please note that the buzzkill used the word solemnity, which is a good word on the GMAT. <clears throat> Uh, all right, defense. Your Honor, there's only one defense. Let's all look into our hearts. And on the count of three, we're all going to say what we know to be the truth. That includes everyone on our esteemed panel and everyone in the jury. Which is all truth. Just everyone cover your eyes. And I'm going to count three, two, one. And then on zero, we'll all say whether they're the asshole or not the asshole. Three, two, one. Not, Not the asshole. asshole! CIA killed JFK because they were angry. <laughs> angry that he failed to take Cuba. What do they say? <laughs> Not? Was that the consensus? You guys think the, All right. they're the asshole make noise? Mostly the asshole. No. <laughs> Wait, hold on. I'm going to fucking judge here. All right. <laughs> yeah, can do I, some I, judging. Here's, on, all right. Judge. Hey, everybody shut the fuck up. Jury. <laughs> what? Jury. <laughs> Wait, what? I, wa I want you to applaud <laughs> if you think they were the asshole. Applaud if you Wait, don't no, no, like no, them. No, 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 I'm, uh, I'm, I'm arguing the case. I'm sorry. <sighs> are, we, are, we doing, are we doing wordplay right now? Yes. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> Ladies and Young. gentlemen of the audience, <laughs> please applaud if you think the funeral drinker is an asshole. Oh, tepid. <laughs> All tepid. right, let the record show three Baptists. <laughs> <laughs> Emphatically said asshole. All right, now, audience, uh, if you think they weren't the asshole, applaud now. <laughs> you're, the, you're the best judge. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, I am not a doubt. They are not the asshole. Hey! hey! Bang the gavel. Bang the gavel. That's part of the bid. Hey. Not guilty. Uh, what's the next case? The next case is case 14. Am, Am I the, the asshole, asshole for sucking on a Cheeto puff instead of chewing them? <laughs> Strap in, folks. <laughs> Did I say it right? You got it. <laughs> I'll start by admitting I have a unique way of enjoying my Cheetos puffs. Mm. Uh your Honor, I'm sorry, but I'm afraid I'm going to need somebody to defend in my stead as I have a conflict of interest on this issue. <laughs> oh, no. do, you, I, do you own the Cheeto Company? Uh, I don't believe that's relevant to this case. Okay. <laughs> it would be a good thing to disclose at this time. What is your conflict of interest, sir? Um, I mean, if we're going to make me say it. You oh. enjoy sucking on Cheetos? Your Chester's wife? You, you might want to be careful what train you're hooking your horse up to. All right. Um, 
<laughs> okay, uh, then I hereby right, yield hold on. my tie to whoever wants to come on stage <laughs> and would like to defend. <laughs> Mr. Brushwood, I am temporarily delegating you assistant judge status. Please join me at the bench, and I will uh, pick somebody okay. else to we, take his uh, stead in the meantime. We, we do need a replacement. Uh, yeah, now I'm on your team. Team judge. All right, I saw a guy with tattoos really? on his arms. Raise his hand first. Come on up, bumper sticker. All right. Woo! All right. Uh, settle in, folks. This was a heavy one. I have a unique way of enjoying my Cheetos puffs. I like to suck on them until they get soft, and then I spit them back into a bag. Whoa! Oh, you fucked up, Brian. <laughs> you fucked up big time. I've done this since I was a kid, and despite the looks that I get, it's my own little comfort ritual. Wow. I understand that it may seem gross to some, but I want to emphasize that I always keep my soggy Cheetos separate from other snacks in the house. I use a particular bag, clearly labeled Mama's Bag, in bold, large letters. This bag stays in the pantry, separate from the rest of the food so as not to confuse or upset anyone. Yesterday, my brother-in-law, who has been staying with us for three weeks, oh, decided no. to dig into my labeled bag no. without asking me first. He was horrified when he dipped his hand in to only find soggy, sucked-down Cheetos. He called me an asshole for keeping such a gross bag in the kitchen where anyone could stumble upon it. Now, I get that expecting some Cheetos puffs when you get a soggy, sucked-down Cheeto is disappointing, especially if you're not expecting it. However, I feel that my bag was clearly labeled and separated for a reason. So, Reddit, am I the asshole for keeping my personal soggy Cheetos in a clearly labeled bag in the pantry from It Sucks to be Normal? On All right, who's... Uh, 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 sorry, no, 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 judge, 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 can I please call a sidebar? Yes, please, approach the bench. Uh, judge, uh, I just want to point out that uh, uh, what was supposed to be my counterweight to this judicial occasion has decided, for reasons that are totally beyond me, to abdicate his position of arguing this fairly high comedic value case uh, to Luis. Yes, yeah, sir. Everybody, big a big round of applause Luis! for Luis. Now, hold on now. It's very common in high-profile court cases for the attorney to slap out with members of the audience. Uh, Johnny Cochran did that a lot back in the day. <laughs> how do you think he got his start? Yeah, that's how he got his start. So uh, while noting, I mean, I, I, I think, if anything, your uh, judicial counterweight in what, whatever your synonym was for a trial... Uh, is really fucked up because I feel like he's on trial now. He's admitted that he's a uh, Cheetos no, guy. No, no, no. In fact, the only real trial that's about to happen is Brian trying to stop himself from getting on Mike when he willfully walked away from Mike. Oh, Martin. yeah. No, that's so, not going to happen. Luis, would you like to defend this person or would you like to say that they are the asshole? I would like to defend. Okay. Uh, so so you, would like, you would like to defend their actions. Wait, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Lu Luis, I just want to like... You're aware defend means you're in favor of the Cheeto bag pervert, right? Yes. Right. Okay. Get up on uh, the All right. right. Yeah. Eat the mic. Eat the mic. You got to eat the mic. Dude. I got to eat the mic. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. Like a Cheeto. Like a Cheeto. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> not, like the, not like how she does Just, it, though. No. Not, how, like, but normal. close. But close. Deep throat that yeah. mic and put it in a bag. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, go ahead. <laughs> so, my bag, my choice. <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah. That is all right. Please. All right. That is a pretty good bumper sticker thing right there. That is actually the the fastest aphorism we've heard yet today. I appreciate that, and the court notes that you're saving us all time. All right, plaintiff, what do you got? Atrocity. <laughs> <laughs> when I say that word, what do you think in your mind? Because for me, it's a Justin. bowl. Louise. <laughs> you had your forward bumper sticker, Louise. <laughs> Sit down. Everybody, big round of applause for Louise. Louise! Yeah! Louise, Louise. When I think of the 
that word? I think of a half-sucked bag of Cheetos. Oh. I think of the soggy disgustingness for which this family found themselves amongst. Sure, you're a brother-in-law. Your weird-ass sister-in-law, for whatever reason, is hosting you. You try to go to the pantry and you find this horror. Who could say anything but the perpetrator would be a big, puckered asshole? <laughs> uh, Your Honor, uh, 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 wait, wait, hold on. The, the court is now readmitting Brian Brushwood <laughs> in soggy styrofoam versus the people. <laughs> Please speak, counsel. Being an attorney for the defense is a difficult task, and it comes with certain moral responsibilities. I think to myself of when the American Civil Liberties Union defended neo-Nazis' rights to march in Skokie, Wait, Illinois. Hold on. Is, 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 the, is the counsel just trying to not get in trouble for defending his defendant? Uh, Your Honor, I'm, I can't defend this. <laughs> <laughs> They're an asshole. I agree. I'm joining the prosecution. <laughs> okay. I mean, number one, the only real winner is in the case of Brian versus the microphone, the microphone <laughs> won. Yes. <laughs> All yeah, right. No, okay. Uh, I'm ruling in favor of the plaintiff. Uh, the, the soggy styrofoam moist pervert yeah. thing is guilty. And uh, Brian, uh, your sentence for having initially defended slash recused yourself is you have to work in the word flapjack to whatever your statements are going forward for the next couple of trials. Yeah. All right. Well, <clears throat> uh, cool story, Your Honor. <laughs> uh, are there are there any more cases or? Yes. Uh, yes, we've got uh, case number 12 here. Case number 12. Am I? Am I the, the asshole, asshole for wanting to change my daughter's name because I hate it? <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on, Brian, hold on. Brian, uh, you got I, a couple I, of daughters. Do you want to recuse yourself and bring up somebody? Who... <laughs> can, I, can, can I please have the uh, uh, stenographer read that back? Am I the, the asshole? asshole for wanting to change my daughter's name? Because I hate it. <laughs> that was that was some real some real like like Houston enunciation there on the <laughs> on the back half of that. Go ahead. I, male twenty seven, was dating my ex, a female twenty six, for three years. Uh, kids, uh, I wanted kids, but she did not, and it wasn't a deal breaker for me. Around the time that we broke up, she announced that she was pregnant. Uh, she was obsessed with looking through unique baby names and coming up with unique <laughs> ways to spell certain names. Eventually, she came up with... If, if, if you could not hear, dear listeners, there is a chilled hush that went I over mean, the crowd. <laughs> like, the phrase unique baby names was a, a, a huge cold front. I, I wonder if this, how different this would be if we were to redact the baby name. <laughs> Well, let's not. Eventually, <laughs> she came up with Peyton Starlight. Oh, oh. Uh, excuse me. I need to spell that out for you. Please. Um, isn't Pete. that a character from uh, that super the boys. show, The Boys? Yes. Yeah. Isn't that Peyton oh. Starlight? Starlight? Oh, God damn it. What the? <laughs> Peyton Starlight is spelled like this. P-A-I-G-H-T-Y-N-N. -N. <laughs> Dash Starlight. Uh, said dash a, Starlight! Dash Starlight. So it's one word. It's, it's not. One, it, it, it's, it's not a first name and a middle name. It's one name. That's right. Peyton Starlight. Peyton Starlight. <laughs> Fast it's, forward to now, my daughter is two years old and I have full custody. Uh, they broke up. Uh, she lives with me. Her mom sees her occasionally, but most of the time makes excuses as to why she can't. Now, I've looked into it, and there is a way that I can change our child's name legally because I have full custody. I just... <laughs> I just fear that her name is going to hinder her when she's an adult. With a name like that, no one would take her seriously, and I'm terrified what other kids will say. What do you think? Is changing her name a bad idea? Would I be the asshole? Brian, would you like to defend this case? or, or are, 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 are they the asshole, or are they not the asshole? For changing the name. For changing the name. Or for wanting to change the name, yeah. yeah. Um, uh, which I, side? I, I'll, I'll, I'll take the defense. All right. Uh, so, so you want to defend the name? Yep. 
Yep. Then I will go first. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) It's fucking stupid. (laughs) Dumb as shit. Mom was fucking dumb. (laughs) She ain't even around no more. Change the fucking name. Come on. What are you fucking stupid? <laughs> Change the damn name. Just make a Peyton. Just make a Peyton. Just make a Peyton. <laughs> All right. The defense rest. Uh, <laughs> stenographer, please note that the Pac- uh, uh, Pacino defense was enacted. <laughs> <laughs> We've got that, yes. No, no. All right. No, no. Uh, okay, real defense. Please uh, <laughs> defend the weird portmanteau of <laughs> Pikes and Starlight or whatever. Peyton Starlight. Your Honor, wait, wait, can, can I just use it for the... Uh, get that spelling one more time. Oh, sure. Uh, P, in fact, I'll spell it out here. Uh, P-A-I-G-H-T-Y-N-N... <laughs> Dash Starlight. <laughs> All right. Now, before we go forward, I want to say that I am a neutral and objective judge. The fact that I have a low sperm count, which precludes me from having children, <laughs> and <laughs> that I speak the Queen's English and would never put any kind of abomination like that on any human being or flower, uh, in no way precludes my ability to rule on this. Please go, Brian. Let, uh, 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 let me just say, as uh, outside expert testimony, unrelated from my position as uh, 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 being there to change the name, I will say, that's embarrassing as a Discord name. <laughs> 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 like, if somebody is on the fucking Great Night Discord, I'd be like, change your fucking name. <laughs> That's embarrassing. And it's one name, right? It's Peyton hyphen Dash Starlight. Starlight. Peyton Dash Starlight. But in that weird, it's got an I and two N's mm. and like a, like a G-H and a Y. It's insane. All right. Anyway, Peyton. go ahead. All the same, that shit. again, neutral, objective. Please go doomed defense. <laughs> doomed. <laughs> Judge. Yes. Do whatever the fuck you want. What the fuck do I care? Wow. What the fuck do I, I know? You know what? Uh, wait and wait. neg me to your position. I rule in favor of you. <laughs> Peyton Starlight wins. Yeah, all hail Peyton Starlight. I I didn't even get to my whole defense, which was my daughter's middle name is Daphne, spelled D-A-F-N-A-Y. And this motherfucker made up the name. That's true. (laughs) That's true. I'll take the win. I I emancipate your daughter. She is now uh, no longer (laughs) under your control. I don't know which daughter it is, but you're free. You're free. (laughs) Go get a tattoo, buy a car, buy drugs. You do whatever you want. I, I, I literally wrote his youngest daughter's middle name as a joke that was initially watched by dozens of people. <laughs> <laughs> dozens of people. Game on, huh? Anybody? I get, I get, but I get. we have one half dozen here. <laughs> uh, uh, but 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 then after, after all that happened... Uh, uh, Y'all got pregnant, and that was a yeah, real thing that, that happened. That, that was my gift to our community, man. And I thank you. I give it a daff yay. So do I. Also, way fucking better than whatever the shit that was. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. It lo- it's bad to look at, too. Wait, yeah. Pate Yin Starlight. There's no L? No. <laughs> well, there's an error right. here. I spell. Hey, I write. May, weird, maybe but. this is because I've had a couple of drinks. Maybe it's the aforementioned low sperm count. But I have an idea. <laughs> I have an idea for when you all have children together, the audience collectively. Yeah. And later, <laughs> later tonight. Here's here's what this I think is going to be a population bomb, and it yeah. begins here yep. here's, at Captain Quack. Here's Sound what Day. I think you should do after the party that we have later tonight. Is if there are any ensuing pregnancies, I think you just pick whatever name you want and put an asterisk on it. I think that'd be really funny because then whenever can I see your clipboard? Yeah. yeah. Oh Somebody. dear. Whenever you're doing summer camp, if you put an asterisk at the end of your kid Bobby's name, it would be like this: Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> that would never get old. It'd always be funny, forever, right? Your kid would love you. I uh I uh, this is an old. Eden? That's a good joke. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you, plaintiff. Uh, the uh, uh, years ago, I 
fell in love with the idea of a middle name of E-F-F-E-N because even when you're angry at the kid, they'll sound often awesome. Like, Justin F and Robert Young, get over oh, here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, do that as the middle name. Yeah. Effin? Effin. Yeah. Sounds a little Israeli. <laughs> Maybe, uh, motherfucking? Sounds a little Roman Catholic. <laughs> <laughs> Do we, do we have another? Where are we at? Uh, yeah, let's do one more here. Can we do case 10? This is case 10, everyone. Am I the asshole for putting realistic fake spiders all over my room <laughs> to stop my cousins from barging in? Can I have you guys take a side before I read this? Yeah. Approach the bench. You're, you're, you're... I'm currently on defense, yeah. Okay. So, so you are Wait, saying so what? Nice, are Make it very clear. I, are you I, willing to do a sign? Whatever, whatever is about to be said. I are they the asshole? Yes or no? No. Okay. Then Justin, you're taking. I the will. Answer. I will say they're the asshole. Okay. Okay. My cousins Jamie and Alex moved in earlier this year, along with my aunt Savannah, Savannah, because she's going through a divorce. The kids keep barging into my room constantly. Uh, Jamie and Alex barge into my room whenever I'm tutoring as well. I volunteer and tutor. I put a sign on the door saying not to come in, but they ignore it and come in two to three times during an hour-long tutoring session. My parents told me not to press Aunt Savannah about it because divorce is hard and they don't want her to become depressed. Hmm. My parents also don't let me lock my door uh, unless I'm getting dressed. Uh, if I try, Jamie and Alex will run to my parents and then my dad will bang on the door until I open it. Uh, uh, I've decided to start putting realistic fake spiders all over my room. I ordered some off of Amazon and I also paid a friend who's into ceramics to make some. <laughs> Like most people, Jamie and Alex hate spiders, and after a few days of discovering spiders on the doorknob and inside my room, Jamie and Alex now avoid my room like the plague. My parents got concerned that my room was actually infested with spiders, and they weren't happy when they realized that the spiders were fake. My parents told me I was being mean to the children whose parents just divorced, and I should be ashamed with myself for purposely scaring them instead of being more patient. Uh, am I the asshole for the way I treated them by the way the children are 8 and 10? Okay, who wants to represent the Mormon Tim Burton candidate? <laughs> I, I give all choices to Justin. I am here to stick up for the youth. Wait, hold on. Are you defensive poor... plaintiff? Yeah, no, no, no. Get there. These poor kids that are 8 and 10. All they want to do is connect with somebody in their family. And when they show curiosity about their family member, what do they get? Love? No. Fellowship? Pshaw. <laughs> they get creepy, crawly, ooky, gooky spiders <laughs> that to their 8 and 10-year-old preformed brains are absolute terrors. This is a horror show for these children. And why? And why? Because there is a selfish person who is drawing their own boundaries before the development of children. If we are not going to say that this woman is the asshole, then who is? You might as well defend Hitler. Whoa. <laughs> I rest. <laughs> Whew, lost, Your lost, Honor. Lost him out there a little bit. This flapjack flipping motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Ding. <laughs> I'm just saying, not only, what do kids love? Haunted houses. What did he provide without any uh, cost? A free haunted house. What do these kids have? Probably a good time. The defense rests. Uh, de defense, can you approach the bench, please? Okay. Yeah. You have three children? Yep. So your sperm count's very good. If I, <laughs> if, if I were to like have like some kind of ice bath regularly, would that help? Or is it like diet? What do you do? Uh, uh, I recommend getting married. Okay. All right. Good. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Uh, Jesus. Very much, <laughs> very much appreciate that. Fuck it. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> All right. Uh, I that, 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 by the way, everywhere. by the way, that was from the Dell Too Close School of Improv. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen of the audience slash jury in the not acronym sense. Uh, 
All right, who thinks that Spider Gal is the asshole? Oh. <laughs> All right, who thinks that Spider Gal is not the asshole? <laughs> Monsters. <laughs> Monsters, all of you. When you look at yourselves in the mirror, know you're looking at an absolute monster. Okay, this is a slam dunk for the defense. Uh, Spider Gal is not the asshole, and uh, uh, jury is now officially changed. Uh, uh, Justin's changed from blood type O negative to AB positive. That's your point. <laughs> Should we bring up more friends? I think that we're about ready to uh, uh, wrap up here. Uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, have you all had a good uh, good time tonight? Huh? Yeah. Good time? Good. Um, this is an amazing venue. Can we get one more round of applause? Captain Quacks! Here? Captain Quacks! Uh, okay, yes. Yeah. It would be intensely depressing to me if this is the last time that we are up here on this stage because I love it so much. But we understand that we are unique. They ain't got a lot of podcasts up here. They don't have a lot of times where people come out and just watch people talk. In fact, what is usually up here on this stage are musicians, people who play amazing music, people who sometimes need Somebody to, you know, extend their intro to make sure Objection. that they get... Your Honor, I'll take the prosecution. <laughs> this is a travesty. This is a music venue, and we should have a musician. All of us are frauds. What we need is a genuine bona fide rock star. So ruled. The court demands that you invoke rock star at this time. I cast spell rock star. However, involving I... a I demand also that we have a proper introduction for said rock star that lasts a good three seconds longer. One, two, three. And that there's some sort of accompaniment involving a mouth accordion keyboard. All right. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, please welcome to the stage to sing the lullaby. It is... Mike TV and Trey Warren. Give a big round. Did anybody call a rock star? Because we are here. We have come. So, uh, yeah. So, um, so uh, I don't play this song that often, but uh, I Me do neither. love this song. And, uh, yeah. So, I'm going to need your guys' help. If, you, if I forget lyrics, which is probably going to happen. I don't want to wait another week for another motherfucking dream. Brian, you know it gets so low when you are not around. I think that I, I need a little help. Think I need some heroin to get my turn around. You know, like a girl is a hero. Come on, guys, not heroin. Jesus Christ. Oh, it's been a great night. A great night. I don't want to wait another week for another motherfucking dream. Is the moment you walk away, I don't want to uh, <laughs> smash my, smash my fingers in the door, smash my, smash my fingers in the door, repeatedly feel just the same. Ow, <laughs> great night, keep me alive, help me survive. Never been a greater night, another bitch, a greater night, a death of destination night, a bitch, a drug and love and night. It's never been a greater, great night. night. Let's, let's do that again. There's <laughs> never been a greater day. <laughs> Mike TV, Trey Warren, <laughs> Andrew Heaton, <laughs> Brett Weaver, hey, Bryce Castillo, <laughs> and everybody who came out here to South Austin, give yourselves a round of applause. 
Shine on, you crazy diamonds. It's still a great night. Woo! Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs>